Hi guys and ladies, of all the fish recipes I make the most popular are fish tacos. Well, I found a new one and this could be the best one yet. And it's low carb too, so I picked up all the ingredients. Uh, except you know which one, the fish. So let's see if we could catch a few through the ice. I'm gonna make my first cast right here off the dock. The ice is thick enough today, so if need be, we could walk out to where the fish should be. Let's use this type of little panfish lure with a mealworm on the hook. If we could catch just a few fish, we could make this new fish taco recipe. Let's give it a try. It's time to head out on the ice to where the fish are. Come on with me. Four and a third inches. I feel something. Yes! Yes! <laughs> it's a little bass. <laughs> you know, this may sound cruel to you, but we have to remove this from the lake. There are just too many of this size. Besides, there's two good fillets on there. We can eat this guy. There's just too many this size. They have to be taken out. I think I feel something. Yes. Yes! What is it? Wow! <laughs> Look at the size of that bluegill. Wow! I think my drag is a little loose, huh? <laughs> Look at that. Oh, I'm so happy. You know, when these fish bite, it just seems to get a little bit heavier. The line feels just a little bit different. Yes. Yes! Yes! Oh, I forgot to tighten. Yes! Come out of there! Wow! Whoa! <laughs> Another monster! <laughs> Look at the size! I got one. I got another one. <laughs> ah, it's a little one, but it's food. It'll do, it'll do. Oh, that's a big one. Oh, goodness. Oh, oh what is this? Oh, oh, it's just a big bluegill. Look at that. <laughs> I might have enough for the recipe now. I've only got five fish, but it's dark. It's time to go back and fillet these fish. It was a slow start, but looky here. We have almost a pound of these great, well, mostly bluegill fillets, and now it's time to make bluegill tacos. So let's get right into it. I've got two jalapeno peppers here. I've cut them in half, and I've got this grapefruit spoon, and I'm gonna just scrape out the hot guts. Let's just chop these up. What I've got here are chipotle peppers in adobo sauce. Now you buy these in the can. These are left over. I need four ounces. Let's see if we could get them out of there. I have to chop the chipotles. This is gonna be messy.
I'd love to give a big hug to the Mexican woman who invented this chipotle's in adobo sauce. Here I've got two tablespoons of olive oil and then <laughs> about four ounces of onions chopped. I'm gonna put our stove on medium high. I've got those onions where I want them. Now watch, our jalapenos, they go in. Not only that, you're supposed to press garlic. Well, I bought the crushed from the jar and I'm gonna put a nice healthy teaspoon in there. I turned the skillet down to medium and I'm gonna go with this for like two minutes, just stirring, two minutes. Our chipotle peppers with adobo going in. Now, into this, I've got two tablespoons of butter going in. Two tablespoons of mayonnaise. Let's stir it in. Remember, we don't care about the fat and mayo and butter because we're on a low carb diet. This is low carb. Here's the moment we've all been waiting for. Our fish are going in. The recipe says to mix everything in the pan and cook the haddock for eight minutes. Ah, 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 but we've got bluegill, so we'll go seven minutes. But the picture shows that everything is flaked up into little pieces, so that's what I'm doing here, breaking it up. Look, it's done. I'm just gonna pour the contents into this bowl and put it aside and then we'll start assembling our tacos. Our mixture is quite spicy, so I'm putting in like three or four heaping tablespoons of sour cream. Look what else I'm adding. Pico de gallo, right fresh from the grocery store. Looky what I have here, low carb tortillas. Now, let's fry them in this oil. I've got enough oil and then some to cover the bottom of the pan I've got the heat on medium because I'm not sure, and we'll just let it go for a minute or two, see what happens. It's been two minutes on that one side. Oh, they look good. Let me go for a minute and a half or two on this second side. It's been almost two minutes on side two. Let me see if I could fold these a little bit. Well, here, here's what I'll do. Put them on the uh, paper towel and pat them dry. There, I put it in this thing. These are delicious. Now, I added a lot of cheese to the mixture because it's a little bit spicy. And you know, I have a special guest coming. Oh, these are spicy. They're, they're tart, they're spicy, they've got everything going for them. I'm gonna put some green salsa on top too. While I have a second, I need to tell you all, the famous celebrity restaurant and food critic, Miss Lulu Cheeks, is on her way over for uh, dinner tonight. We've been seeing each other for decades, yet I think she's reluctant to marry me because we don't share the same interests. Mine is fishing. If I can get her to enjoy fishing, she might want to marry me. Although she doesn't seem to think much of marriage either. Oh well, these are really good. Please try them. Here we are once again with the famous celebrity restaurant and food critic, Miss Lulu Cheeks. Thank you so much for joining me here at my tattered treasured trailer house. And you had a chance to munch on my Chipotle bluegill tacos. And I'm anxious to find out what you thought of them. They were delicious. I, I thought it, the way it came out with the, the addition of the sour cream and the cheese and, the, oh. you know, and then the shells and then the, you know, the extra green They were sauce. spicy. So everything was, yeah, but it was, you could and tamp I, it down with yes, adding I, the cheese and I the did sour add a lot, cream. a lot yeah. of cheeses. They and were good. It was very good. Oh, it did turn out yes, good. Yes, it did. I, I, I ate too turned much. Turned out, well, that's okay. <clears throat> You'll work it off. You know, Miss Cheeks, oh, it's okay to call you Lulu now. Uh, there are a lot of women who love fishing. In fact, I know one who is so passionate about the sport that she got a new rod and reel for her husband. I bet that was the best trade she ever made. Huh? Hmm. Uh, can I have a hug?